What's up, fam? It's your boy Kirk Nugent coming back at you with another video. Listen, yo, StreamYard is at it again. I had to make this quick update video because this joint is crazy. So, without any further ado, let's dive in right after this. This is like the third update video that I've done. <laughs> I mean, honestly, StreamYard is just rolling out features and we can't even keep up, but there's like three features that I wanna share. One of them is a major update for audio. And so I wanna dive into that right now. So here we are um, in, in StreamYard and gonna, we got three big items, but the biggest one, I'm gonna touch on it first. And so I'm gonna go into my test room here and right away, as soon as we get into the test room, stop my camera mute my mic as soon as we get into the test room i'm going to the cam mic option cam mic going to audio and this has changed okay echo cancellation when this box is checked echo cancellation is on when i uncheck this box echo cancellation is off and this takes the place of audio processing one of the things one of the components of audio processing was echo cancellation and so when we unchecked uh, audio processing before we were turning off echo cancellation as well but this is a major shift because and i want you guys to, to understand now you see that this box is unchecked that means echo cancellation is off if i check it it's on and if and as soon as i check it you can see at the bottom it says the stereo mode says echo cancellation must be off to use stereo audio so by default uh, streamyard is going to make sure that this box is checked why is that because if you're not wearing headphones uh, if your guests are not wearing headphones that means you you're re you really need echo cancellation because they're listening to you through their speakers on maybe their laptop or their phone or whatever so you need echo cancellation so you don't create a loop that's what echo cancellation is for it's not a bad thing it's a good thing but if you i mean with what with that one simple instruction to your guests on Streamyard letting them know, hey, we are gonna really need you to wear headphones so that we can all uncheck this box to turn off echo cancellation. So now that I've unchecked the box, you see that that message has gone away and it allows me to now check the other box, stereo audio. Look what happens when I go back to check echo cancellation. It turns off stereo audio. So I wanted to show you that as an example. So now that I've unchecked echo cancellation, here, stereo audio, I'm checking it and I can use it. For me at my and the church, uh, my church, the bridge, we have a, a bass player, we have a drummer, we have a pianist, we have the vocalist. That huge pipe of audio coming into StreamYard, we are gonna use this stereo audio uh, um, option because we wanna we wanna maximize the audio that we're pushing to the stream. Uh, StreamYard has already upgraded the bit rate for sound a few months or maybe a, week, a month or so ago. Now they're giving us the stereo audio option. And in order to take advantage of it, you gotta turn off echo cancellation and you have to select stereo audio. I'm gonna hover my mouse over the stereo audio feature here. And you can see this says, this is often used by musicians with a stereo audio input slash mic. We have a soundboard and we have that whole soundboard coming into an ex uh, USB um, ex external USB audio device. And that audio device is our microphone coming into StreamYard. So this is exactly the setting that we have been waiting for. So thank you to StreamYard for, for setting us up like this, but I wanna make sure we all understand the ramifications here. Um, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the echo cancellation one. This is exactly what it used to say for audio processing, but I want you to catch that distinction before you had to uncheck to disable audio processing. Here now we're unchecking to, uh, echo cancellation to turn it off to turn off echo cancellation. I cannot say that enough times. When we check this box, stereo audio automatically turns off and, it, and we can't even select stereo audio while it's checked. We've got to uncheck this in order to select stereo audio. So that's the first of the three. So that's number one. I'm trying to be quick here. So I'm going to click the X, um, enter the broadcast studio, and here we are in the broadcast studio. The second thing I want to show you guys is right here in the corner, there's a little box. This, this, I, I don't, I'm going to try and zoom in on this when we, when we're doing the, um, when I'm, I'm doing, when I'm editing this video, uh, but there's a little box here and that is for full screen mode. 
I have I can't tell you how many streams I've done where guests are like is there any way I could see it bigger than this because they're not interested in the comments they don't have much of the controls that they need to do except for muting and unmuting themselves so when they click full screen you can see here now this is what full screen looks like for the guests now they get a full view of the show and anything and anyone that's in the show even if they are backstage and look what else when they move their mouse down to the bottom they still have share screen they still have the cam mic button and it comes up without coming coming out of full screen and click audio and they still have the option to to, to you know turn off echo cancellation and all that good, all that good stuff they still have those options in here by doing that they can start and stop their camera they can unmute themselves all still here while in the full screen mode and of course in the bottom corner you have the option to exit full screen but you can you can hit this to enter full screen mode you can hit the escape key on your on your computer or your keyboard to exit uh full screen mode um i'm gonna add um my two videos to the stream and so there you have their my two videos i've got my laptop behind me connected into this same test room but either way what i wanted you to see though is what this looks like full screen again there you have it full screen mode with the two videos there now notice something real quick this video the, these two videos are off and so you what you're seeing is the audio avatar this is Streamyard's term not mine so what you're seeing is the audio avatar on screen these two are what we call the audio avatar now I'm going to go into cam mic real quick and change my camera to uh, the webcam and it has changed to that and I'm going to start my camera and so now you're seeing me on this webcam right here okay so now here we are um, with one camera on and one camera off and this other camera is um, on this other laptop behind me in fact let me turn the camera on on this real quick all right so now you're seeing that camera behind me you're seeing this camera to the side of me okay so we're together so far I'm gonna make a change here if you go down to um, the, the, the sorry if you go to settings if you go to settings right here in the general tab of settings in fact let me do that again okay going into settings right in the general tab of settings you see the option shift videos up for comments and banners I always keep that unchecked because I just don't like my my I have my placement set when I design my stuff I don't want to see it any other way okay audio avatars I'm gonna hover my, my my mouse over the question mark here show an avatar when a user's camera is off uncheck this if you want users to be completely hidden when their camera is off what this means folks is that if if you if you uncheck this okay I've unchecked it now you still have both of my videos in the stream but that's because both of the videos are actually on what this means is that if you want somebody to join your stream they don't have a camera but you just want them to be a part of the conversation they can do that now without having this empty box on the screen that's just taking up a spot and that's that's making your stream look a little I guess dirty if you will <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn off this camera behind me and what you see now is that this camera has become full screen and right up at the top it says Kirk Nugent is in the stream with audio only so this other person can be in the stream still engaging with whatever's happening on screen but they are not seen and if you can as you can see here I can click remove I can click add and of course it comes back with that same message Kirk Nugent is in the stream with audio only this is big and let me tell you why um I can't tell you how many times I've had to come on on screen I'm gonna turn this camera back on so that and as you can see as soon as the camera comes back on it pulls that person's camera feed back onto to the screen but I cannot tell you how many times I have been producing a show and I needed to just say a quick word to somebody on screen um, but I, I also had to bring my entire video feed on screen in order to do that um, as, as some people you know the VOG uh, type scenario where you have that voice of God you can't see the person but you can hear them by turning off the camera stop cam on that one you can see boom you got the the video feed is still here Kirk Nugent is in the stream with audio only again as I mentioned before and I'm gonna turn off my camera here and all of a sudden boom you and one other are in the stream with audio only but we're not even seeing anything you got to make sure you're, be, you're you be careful with that setting because 
somebody's video drops out and they're gone from the screen. And it'll shift the orientation of your entire stream if you're not prepared for it. I actually think that's a good thing because nobody wants to see a dead video feed on the screen. And so again, that is under settings, audio avatars, you, if you uncheck this box, well, checking it brings both of them back on screen. You can see that they're both on screen. Settings under general audio avatar, if I uncheck it, both of those video feeds have gone away from the screen. I'm gonna go back to settings again. I wanna show you this one last time in terms of audio, um, echo cancellation. You wanna make sure that that is unchecked. If you're using headphones and a pro mic, you wanna make sure that is unchecked. Unchecking that does not need, necessarily mean you need to check the stereo audio, but if you have a, a, a scenario where you've got a full band and a mixer coming into StreamYard, you wanna check this stereo audio so that you can take full advantage of all these audio features that StreamYard is adding for us. And then of course, lastly, full screen full screen option you have that right there and you're able to do that i'm going to cam mic that brings up my setting screen i click and click click the audio avatars and here we've got our our two video feeds on screen for us folks i hope this is helpful i hope this is useful for you these are the three main things that i wanted to chat about in this video there you have it yo i mean it's crazy you can do full screen for your guest and for you as the producer you can go do audio avatar mode where um, you, you don't have to actually be on screen anymore. And as I mentioned, that voice of God joint, that has saved me in a live stream I just did, being able to come on to the stream and not necessarily have to bring my video on, game changer, okay? And then that third one of that stereo feature. And then of course they changed the name of the audio processing checkbox. They changed that name to uh, I think it's now echo cancellation. Yes, echo cancellation. I just want to make sure you guys have those. Listen, folks, man, <laughs> uh, I, I recognize that so many people have subscribed to the channel over the past few weeks and months, and it has been amazing. It's been, you know, really encouraging for us here at How It All Works. We need more, we need more, but we don't take any of these subscribes for granted. We recognize that you guys are subscribing because we are giving you value and we wanted to make sure we get this video to you as quickly as we possibly could. So give us a thumbs up if, 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 if we hit the mark, <laughs> right? You click that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. If you know people who have watched the other video that I did in terms of sound and they, they enjoyed it or it helped them, please direct them to this video here. Um, and, and then of course, if you haven't already subscribed, um, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, we're, we're trying to get there, man. We're trying to get to uh, a thousand, right? And then and again, as I always mentioned, that's our first goal, but we have many more goals after that. So continue to take the journey with us. Uh, it's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that we got you a little close to figuring out how it all works. We'll see y'all in the next video. Later.